Hi, welcome back to another Arctic Speed Modeling Quick Coffee Tip. I'd like to show you how we can line up the mullions of a curtain wall to fit the columns. You can see how they exactly fit. All right, let's do this. I start with just a simple wall slab and one column and we draw our curtain wall along here. Right, first thing is curtain wall settings, just have a quick look. I've got a scheme here, one meter, two one, I got two pieces and we just put it for now on our kit layer. All right, let's draw this one. I only really need one piece. So we go from here, no, not there. There we go, all the way to that corner. Go inside, um, 2500, that's good. We place this and we curve this to our arc. All right, now, there are a couple of things that happens with ArchiCAD. You can see he obviously doesn't go exactly to the corners. Okay, so what we, the first step we have to do is we have to stretch this back to the middle here. Okay, so that's the first thing. So it, it starts and calculate from here. So we drag this back to our corner. All right, now the next bit obviously is we have then to extend this again to there. All right, perfect. All right, so now, because now it will start going from one meter, one meter, one meter along here. Next bit is let's just do six columns as example. It's important the column you will see they have to go in the middle, in the middle of the mullion here. Don't don't put it there. You will see why in a moment. So just in the middle middle of the mullion, roughly you know. There we go, and just move it away a bit. Obviously you can drag it along this helpline. See if you drag it along here, it will stay exactly, you know, it doesn't go anywhere. So let's just move it back here. All right, great. So that, that's good. Let's see what we got so far. All right, we got the column there, which I like now to rotate along at equal spacing. I like to do six columns. So let's select that one and we rotate and we distribute, I like to have six columns. Don't need to pick an arc, but you have to rotate along the path. And minus one, I don't want one there. All right, got my helplines here. And we go, important now, you gotta go in the middle. There you go, see, on that one. And we go in the middle here. All right, cool. There we go. Now, obviously, we don't need that anymore. Let's have another look. Oh, that's very funny. We're sort of lucky that they already line up a little bit. They're not lining up exactly here, but you know what? To make this actually a bit more different, let's just, just, um, let's just say I started with 1200. Oops, not that much. Uh, 12. There we go. Okay, let's just say you started with that and you can see obviously that doesn't line up at all. Okay, so how do we do this now? Okay, you can just extend those to match this here by roughly measuring, you know, from there to the middle there. And then you divide this. So I got 3963. Let's just open my calculator. All right, so 3963, we divide this by, we got one, two, three, equals 1321. Let's move this away. Okay, so we now select our curtain wall and we put in 1321. Let's see what happens for now. 
All right, so it's getting there. It's not perfect because I was just sort of roughly doing this. See, so if I move along here, you will see it's totally off and there's a little piece at the back there. So what I do is you go all the way to that side and you just trial and error. That's what you do sometimes to design. So let's put this to 30. Yeah, it goes along here, that's almost perfect. That's almost perfect actually. There you go. See again, I was pretty lucky. You know, let's just do this again because quite important. So let's just say you extend it to like 25. You hit okay again and you see them moving along obviously it moves along from here it stays here so it keeps moving along at this end see there so if i now go again and add let's just say as some 28 see there's still a bit there it's still not in the middle so as you saw before with 30 that was pretty good it gets rid of this one and it's pretty in the middle there so if we have a look now there you go it's perfectly in the middle of the columns all right i hope you enjoyed this little coffee tip bye for now